Hey guys, back with another video. And yesterday I did a video about um, F1, um, uh, the weekend wrap up, or like the weekend report. And thank you for getting on. I think almost 80 views, maybe it could be even higher um, in like a day, um, almost like to almost 24 hours. So yeah, thank you very much. But I want to do a video about NYCFC. And it has been a while. I think it's been since like, I obviously this is a game I went to, but like a, a video about like, Doing an analysis was I think late June last year when I said like oh, I see if they're top of the league. They weren't actually top of the league, I think now. I think they're like top of the the conference, but I think someone else is still top. But I did go to the last NYC oh, specific game. But the specific topic was going to that game in late September or like middle September. We watched um, the Campion Campiones Cup um against Atlas and now I CFC did win, so happy but um um and just talk about going to games first um i'm trying to get some more games and i hope the next one's not i see if do have planned a local game that i might go to so yeah and I, we got some more but um hoping the games will ramp up but it's time to talk about my cfc because they have not started the campaign this in this new ml season's degree they lost to Nashville on their first game, 2-0, and they tied to Chicago, 1-1, on their second game, only scoring 1-2. and 1-1 draw to Chicago. Chicago's not great, and Nashville, 2-0 loss. I mean, Nashville was pretty good. I know, like, Haney McTarr, um, Walker Zimmerman, um, maybe some others, but, like, it, like, the, the team's not, like, the best team in that It's not, like, one of the best. It's probably pretty good. Maybe, like, top eight. But, still. Um, but we got to talk about NYCFC. Their preseason. Let's talk about their preseason. Preseason was very rough, in my opinion. At least looking now. They had six games. They only won one. They started off on January 18th for one nothing loss to Minnesota. January 24th, they tied 2-2 to San Jose. January 28th, they tied 1-1 to LAFC. Um, then they got their only one on February 4th against LA Galaxy coming in a 2-1 win. Then they got a free-free draw against newcomers in MLS St. Louis. And then, they all, and then on February 18th, their last preseason game, they lost 1-0 to Portland. So... I mean, that that's not great. And this weekend we got Inter Miami um, at home, and it did to be fair. There's also both those games were away, so maybe, I think maybe we can do better at home than away. But um, it's still not great. Drawing one one. Um, and also we, there's been a lot of departures like Valent Valentin Castellanos um, to Girona. I think it, it's on a loan, but still like it's not very great that like we're losing this many players and we only brought in like a few players so like we lost we lost just to sean johnson i think he left on like a free but um but sean johnson's gone we did bring in like um mitija elanich i think that that young um uh the the young uh um, a Slovenian, a right back, um, from, like, um, some, somewhere in Slovenia. Has 81 potential in FIFA, so he could be good. Matt Freese from Philadelphia. Matias Pellegrini from Inter Miami on a free. Tony Alfaro on a free. Um, and then, like, some other ones that aren't really playing much. Oh, and Brian Kru um, Kufre, um, on a loan from, from my York. That's weird. Like, we have two, we have two, we already had two left backs at Munson in Gloucester, I think. Why do we need to get a third left back? And then we also got, like, James Sands, who came back. Kloster, came back. Um, Brass, I think. Ben Calzar. Um, Jimenez. But, like, we, but we did have, like, a lot of players leave. I'll just give you a short um, feedback of all the players who left. Hey, Bear, what's Seattle? Um, free, 75K. Um, Tinnerholm, one on a free to Malmo. Alexander Collins, one on a free to Girona. Sean Johnson, one on a free to Toronto. Maxim Rawls, our best player, maybe, but only behind Matt Castellanos, one on a free to Racing Club in Argentina. Gedeon Zalalem, one on a free to Den Bosch. Watinovich, one on a free to Laviada. Liv Lavadia, some club in Estonia. Um, um, uh, uh Cassianos obviously, um, went on a loan to Girona. Um, Acevedo went on a loan to Bahia. 
um, Mitrita went on loan to Alred and Santiago, um, and Santiago Rodriguez, um, I think he's, I think he just signed permanently, but I'm not sure. Still, that's a lot of good players. Then we lost Hey Barrett, Tanner Holm, Collins, Sean Johnson, Morales, um, and, um, Cassiano. Still, so like, how many did I just said? Six? Five? That's like five or six, one of our, like, our starters. I know Tanner Holm. I know Johnson, Collins, and Castellanos. I think Castellanos left in the summer, maybe. But still. Um, Tenero, Collins, Johnson, Castellanos, and Morales. That's five, I think. But still. And there were still, like, some others. Like, one or three, two or three. So that's a lot of players out. And, like, like and our team doesn't really have much experience. So, I mean, the signing is, like, weren't bad. I mean, I like Yelanich. Pellegrini was good. Tony, uh, but like Matt Freeze is the, but like, but I think Matt Freeze is okay. They signed him on 330, 20, 322k from, uh, from uh, Philadelphia. So, and FIFA is 65, and Johnson was 73. So like, and Johnson did get called up for something for USA. Like so, like I, I got a bad feeling we're not gonna be as competitive as like the last few years. And then Matt Tony Alfaro, he's a good backup Mexican, came from DC United. Um, and Brian Kufre, although I don't think we need him, he's still a good signing because like we just like he's good. James Sands um, came back from Rangers, who he was on a loan at Rangers. So like, um, we have like we have, like we still have some good players like Talos Manio, he's a good young um he's a good young. Brazilian Gabriel Pereira got the goal for against Chicago, but like if you uh, go go through the starting eleven, I'll go through the starting eleven right now. Um, Barraza, I did he didn't start much last season. Shano Martins, good. They, they both started last season. Elena Chelik, Kufre, good. Park Sands, Sands didn't play last season. Parks, he's okay. J- Yassin or J- Jassin, he. He's like a 59 rated, and he's 24, and he's a right, right mid, right midfielder, or right winger. He's playing left mid, or like left cam. Pereira got the goal. Pellegrino's playing cam, and Tasmano, who's usually just left mid, was playing striker. We literally don't have a single striker. We don't have a striker. <laughs> and I'm not lying. Like we don't have a striker. Castellanos and Heber both left. That's that balance. Both our strikers. What do we do now? We do not have any strikers. Like, like we're kind of like, I mean, tell us, Mano, yeah, he's like our best player, but he's not a striker at the end of the day. He's not a striker. So, like, I mean, like, like um, I don't know what to really to say. And Santiago Rodriguez, he, I like him. I do like him. The Uruguayan, pretty good. Um, Tiago Andrade, I'm not sure who it was, but it might have been him. I think who when I, I won I went to the FC Dallas game, the first ever game I went to to watch how I see FC. I know it was one Brazilian who got a red card at the end of the game. I think it might have been Thiago Andrade. But uh, again, I'm not sure. Um I think it's him though. If I were to say one, I think it's him. But he he, he looks okay. Um but he's 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 like okay. Like he's not like very good, but again, he's he's pretty good. Um, so, like, going into the season, what can we expect? After these two first games, so they're away from home. It doesn't look good, especially that draw in Chicago. Because Chicago, yeah, they have Shakiri, that one, one-star one player, but that team, I mean, last season, that, that team didn't do that good Chicago Fire. I mean, um, let me check right now, but Chicago Fire, like, they, they, they were bad last year, um, if I'm right. Um, 2022, yeah, they finished 12 out of, out of their 14 teams. They only finished ahead Toronto and DC United. So, Chicago, 12. Well, NYCFC finished third that year. I mean, I don't have high hopes. Like, And Nashville, okay, they finished fifth last year. They're pretty good, obviously. But, um, I like, uh, like, it, it, it's, it's a bit hard, and, like, Nashville also draw the second game, so, like, it's gonna be tight to see, um, who finishes where, and how well NYCFC could do, because, at least in the first two games, it doesn't look that positive. See you guys next time. See ya.